This is a fantastic cookbook for anyone who hates prep work, has very little time to devote to eating vibrantly and healthfully, but still wants to do so. Plus the ingredients are so fresh, basic, seasonal etc. I really can't tell you how accurate the title of this cookbook is. So these are the sweet potato and black bean tacos and her tofu vegan sour cream. I made both recipes in under 25 minutes total, I timed it because I get mad when cookbooks give a time and it is inaccurate. I prepped for this recipe in 8 minutes and that gave me time to add the prep for sour cream at 2 minutes. I cooked the potato mixture while sending emails and whirling the Vitamix for the sour cream this week has been crazy. I did the non-fat broth sauté which I recommend. It gave the sweet potatoes a caramel flavor. I really appreciated that the tofu sour cream was not a cashew one. I am sick of spending huge amounts of money on cashews and this one was very thick, and it involved three ingredients, lemon, salt, tofu. Plus as you can see my spoon literally stands up in it. I already have shopped for two more recipes for the week, there is a cabbage, pear, apple recipe that I am looking forward to making and a watermelon gazpacho. This is going to be my go-to cookbook for quite some time I am thinking. Yum times 10. What drew me to this book was that it offers mainly quick recipes, simple, no cooking required, for those hot summer days, 30 minute or less meals, 5 ingredient recipes, 1 pot wonders, pan, casserole dinners, and no pressure cooking. I cook just about every night of the week, but since I... It also gives you prep time, cook time, general nutrition facts and serving information. It contains so much useful information as well such as, measurement conversions, the EWG's produce list of clean 15, dirty dozen, how to store fruits, veggies, and so much more. I would have loved to see more pictures of the dishes though, I am not vegan but I do try to eat plant-based as much as possible. I make dinner basically every day of the week so these recipes will be a big help with that. I don't eat much soy, so I will substitute for other things if I can, I usually customize all recipes I make anyways. Fast and Easy Vegan Cookbook, 100 Mouth-Watering Recipes for Time-Crunched Vegans, is a helpful recipe resource for both busy vegan pros and vegan newbies looking for more simple starter recipes. Author J.L. Fields, a vegan chef, coach, and consultant, covers the basics of vegan cooking, preferred foods and powerhouse protein sources, and food prep, shopping, and food storage tips. Advice is given for how to adapt meals to accommodate special dietary needs like gluten-free, nut-free, oil-free, and soy-free, and also included as a recipe index by dietary label. Recipe chapters include, 30-minute dishes, sheet pan and casserole meals, 5-ingredient recipes, no cooking required, 1-pot wonders, no pressure pressure cooking, and kitchen staples. Recipes like these will add flavorful new options for family meals, 5-fruit salad, 3-bean bonanza, breakfast burrito, speedy corn chowder, easy minestrone, black bean and sweet potato tacos, baked ratatouille, cheesy zucchini lasagna, easy as shepherd's pie, potato and pinto. This vegan cookbook provides 100 recipes that cover a variety of types of dishes. You can fill any part of the menu with tasty vegan cuisine using the directions in this book. Each recipe has the ingredients listed as well as substitution options you might consider based upon dietary needs or preferences.
The print is easy to read and the recipes are tasty and healthy. For vegans who are looking for variety and want to prepare food that will be pleasing for both vegans and non-vegans you may want to try this book. There are 100 recipes, with just 7 pictures. I may sound like a child, and maybe this won't be an issue for you, but I prefer cookbooks to have pictures of most of the dishes. The ones that there are pictures for are ones you wouldn't necessarily need one for like miso soup or tzatziki sauce. Show me what jackfruit Philly cheesesteak bowl looks like, or sheet pan pota chos. I mean, I can imagine what some of this could look like but given all the other cookbooks out there, I would likely choose that over this. I want to be visually inspired. I want to taste it with my eyes first. I, as a non-vegan even, will jump right into any recipe if it just looks good. I love to eat, and will eat anything. But sell me on it a bit. I think a cookbook that is inclusive of people just edging into a vegan diet should have the added persuasion of great, mouth-watering, tummy-grumble-inducing recipes that use pictures alongside the recipe. Maybe not all, but many or most. That being said, I have some recipes to try. I love jackfruit, and am burning to make something other than pulled pork with it. This book has the typical introduction. The chapters are as follows. Chapter 1. Vegan meals made fast and easy, basically a primer. Chapter 2. No cooking required 20 recipes, no stove or oven required slaws, smoothies, breakfast bowls, wraps, salads. Chapter 3. 30-minute meals or less 20 recipes, burritos, skillets, scrambles, san. i.e., calories, total fat, total carbs, fiber, sugar, protein, sodium recipe pages are organized by an intro, and then the ingredients, and how much listed to the left, and the steps numbered and listed to the right. The dietary label index as nice as it tells you is, are gluten-free, nut-free, oil-free, soy-free. You can look at a recipe, see which recipe adheres to which label. From there though, you have to look for the recipe in the index or flip through the book. I am kinda surprised that there wasn't another column to just say the page number the recipe can be located quickly at a glance, rather than added step of looking it up elsewhere. Nice addition though, and some may really appreciate that much. For a more versed vegan cook, I would say this would be okay. Likely you can imagine what it should look like and taste like. I can do do because I have worked with most all these foods. However, I prefer more picks and sometimes that is the very thing that would keep me from adding a cookbook to my collection. As for beginner vegans, vegan, vegetarian flirts, those rather new to any cooking. The lack of picks is also likely not helpful. Price-wise, it seems fair given that it is pretty much all text. I know picks bump up the price, so I am glad that it at least fits that bracket. Directions are easy to follow, but I am used to reading recipes and filling up my belly. I made seitan and eggy salad. I should have taken a pick. Oops, rating, 4. No picks really makes it a 3 for me middle of road. But the price is fair, $10, and the addition of the dietary label index as a nice, helpful touch. I think that a simple but super helpful bit of information for people. I have seen it included on the recipe page, but not all together for an at-a-glance tool. 
Also, the easy directions, organized layout, and variety of foods boosts it up. Click link in description for more reviews.